was in here slaving in this hot kitchen, made the cobbler and the chicken and dumplings. I reached up to get the phone and it fell and I lost the video. So I'm going to show you and tell you what I did. The cobbler is just like the peach cobbler. It is real easy. One cup of flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of milk, one tablespoon, a teaspoon baking powder, one can of uh, cherry pie filling, and a cube of butter. You put the butter in your uh, baking dish, put it in the oven at 350, let that butter melt, you mix that batter up, pour the batter in there, and then put the cherries on top, and cook it between 30 and 40 minutes until it's brown. The dough will rise to the top. Okay, I'm so sorry. I made it sorry for myself, I'm so hot. Anyway, so then for the, um, the dumplings is real easy. Okay, first off, you wanna boil your chicken until the meat will just come off. You take the chicken out, let it cool. In the meantime, I put salt, one bay leaf, onion powder. I don't measure with this, so I guess I probably two or three tablespoons. Black pepper, garlic powder, one can, now you don't have to do this. I just do this because I think it makes it taste better. One can of cream of chicken soup. And then I added some ch instant chicken bouillon, the powder, the powdery kind. So after the chicken cools off, you want to debone it. And you want to take three, now let me make sure I'm a little excited because I lost that video. Three cups of this, uh, I used the Pioneer Baking Mix. Three cups of this and one cup of milk. Now I have to add a little bit more milk because it's a little dry. And you want to knead it in the bowl just a little bit. Don't knead it a whole bunch. Then you want to pour it out on your board with a little flour on it. Just knead it a little bit. I just pinch mine off. Some people use a spoon, a tablespoon and they just gradually drop them in there. Now you don't want to uh, stir your dumplings. If you stir that, they're gonna break They're gonna break apart. It's not gonna be any good. Well, it'll be good, but, well, it won't. Don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> do not stir your dumplings. When they're done, the dumplings will kind of float. But if you stir them, they'll be messed up. Now, if they're not floating and you think they should be done, don't stir them. Just shake the pot. Shake the pot. Now, I'm going to get a little bowl of it out to show you. Mm -hmm. There we go. Get some dumplings in there. And then that's what it looks like. Let me see what it tastes like. Let me have a little taste. I hope it's not too hot. I know it is. Ooh, that's, that's going to be too big. Let me cut this. Oh, yeah, that's, that's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Been a long time. That's good. That is really good. This is wonderful for Sunday. If you have a family. But I don't have family. It comes over on Sunday. I have her name. She's coming to pick it up. Anyway, that's their chicken dumplings and cherry cobbler. I'm sorry I lost the video. I'm that was a mistake to reach up there and try to grab that camera. Anyway, I will see you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Love you. Bye.